Welcome to a guide to a new mod on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The D754 truck pack. This is new out today and this is by AAA Modding. You can probably already hear me grinning. Um, I know I always say this, but I like this one a lot. Um, I really do. This is cool. Um, oh, I don't know where to start. It reminds me, weirdly, a couple of things. What it can do, it reminds me a lot of the Holmer Terra variant that was on FS17. But it also reminds me a little bit, and we'll have a look at it in store in a second, of the old British Army Bedford Four Tunners um, kind of utility truck type things. I know they're not as rounded as those, but it has that feel with the wheels and the raised body and stocky kind of design. Anyway, um, this is really, really cool. Um, so there's a whole truck pack here. We've got the D754 truck itself, truck body. We've got a BP9 back. We've got a HTS80, an FMSZ 2KT. Now, the original ones of those, weirdly enough, were not weirdly enough, but anyway, were by Patyesh Modding, so I'm assuming they've got permissions and all the usual things they normally do. Um, but we'll have a look in store first, and we'll have a look over the vehicles, and we'll have a look at what they can do. Um, like I say, this is cool. Trucks, as you know, are fairly expensive. Horsepowers are fairly high, 460, 462, 500, and then kind of working your way up. This one comes in here. It's only got 200 horsepower, which doesn't seem like a huge amount, but that's not bad. Um, it will go at 49 miles per hour, um, and it's only 60,000. So if you're kind of starting out and you want an entry-level truck, an entry-level semi, this could be the way to go. Um, I will explain why as well, because there's more to it than that. Um, this will use 19 slots, the actual truck itself. Um, so if we click on it, here's the truck. All very lovely. I just think from that angle especially, just reminds me of the old Bedford Four Tunners. Obviously they had kind of canvas tops and stuff to it, but anyway, regardless of that, we have got options available. We can change the main colour, which is the cab. Um, to anything we want. Uh, let's go with, I don't know, bright, oh, that's a bit much. Um, we can go across and we can do the rim colour. We could do that to match if we wanted to, or as I often like to go darker, maybe like a black. And then design colour, which is that one there. No, hang on. Design colour is what changes the actual chassis. So you could go for a black chassis if you wanted to, or if you wanted to match the chassis to the rest of everything that was going on. You know, you see you see where we're going with it, um, which is really, really nice. I like the options. Then we've got design. Now, that skipped across one, but we were there on standard. So standard is without anything on it at all. Then we get this kind of orange stripe is design one. Design two is white stripes. Design three reminds me of the Watford colours where I live. Watford Football Club, the Hornets, that's their colour or colours. We've got yellow... Um, red and black why did i forget the name of the color red so yeah uh four uh it's like a yellow yeah it's a yellow stripe isn't it a little bit slightly darker than the one i've already got then we've got a red stripe and then a blue stripe or double stripe i'm saying stripe but it's a double stripe um and then we're back to standard again and then we've got attaches now at the moment it's an open bed at the back and we've got a rear attacher just there if we change attaches to plus trailer hitch, we get a fifth wheel attachment. Make it into a proper semi. You know, that that's, again, say 200 horsepower, but, you know, don't be put off by that. So those are the options available. So let's come out and we'll have a quick look. So this one here is the one we've got that's got the fifth wheel attachment. Really, really great details on this. It's really really cool so I want to do just jump in start it up sounds fantastic
So I say, this is the one with the fifth wheel attachment, which means it will hook up to normal semi trailers. What we'll do is a quick looking cab as well. The doors don't open or anything, I haven't found that they do. Is that the fuel tank in the middle there? I suppose to give it that, it's got quite a high ground clearance, I suppose, compared to a lot of trucks. Um, so that probably is there. Lights on, we get the lights come on the dash. The little light comes on for, it's kind of main beams. Uh, but we've also got a light comes on for indicators. Left or right. See the accelerator pedal going as well. Very cool. So, lights off, lights on, kind of fog light type things. And back off again. So, what we'll do, I'll show you what I mean. Now, it has got a rear trailer hitch anyway. This will only work on pin hitch trailers, it won't work on ball hitch trailers. But if we back up to this one, oh, that's interesting. With the fifth wheel on, it won't allow you to attach up to a normal trailer. Okay. It will allow you to hook up to a semi trailer. Now this is one of those small and mighty. This is a fairly small. This is the uh, the Cramp KS950, which is I say it's only it's only a forty eight thousand liter. I've got that full of wheat at the moment, so it's full, and that will pull away. That will pull it. And it will get up to the speed you want it to. That said, with only 200 horsepower, that's going to struggle up steeper hills. There's no two ways about it. But, like I say, if you want to start out and you want to start hauling larger loads, and you want a truck to sort of to do that for 60 odd grand or just a little bit over, if you're going to get you know a few modifications on it, that's absolutely fantastic. Now. What also comes in this pack are these bodies that go on the back, and this is why I said it reminds me of the old Holmer Terra variant, which kind of did the same thing. So we've got these backs that come as part of the pack. And like I say, the, the mod for that was with Patch Yesh Modding, I think, originally. Uh, the FMSZ2KT is a liquid tank. Um, but what we will do is have a quick look. Now, if you get the option without the fifth wheel attachment, so without this, just get the flat the flatbed without the fifth wheel you can attach to all of these with the fifth wheel on there that will not attach to these it just it can't do it now again slightly odd one on this I'm going to show you in the store first and then I'll show you what I mean so in store if we go over to now I could go to lizard which obviously would help out a bit but what we'll do if we go to trailers and scroll across We've got the Lizard BP9. So this is your normal, I say grain trailer. It will take all that stuff that goes uh, goes in the bottom there. This will be, uh, BP9 is five slots. If you're on PC, don't worry about the slots. It's irrelevant to you. It makes no difference. Um, but if we have a look at it here, we can change the main colour to, let's say, anything you want. I mean, it was pretty much on orange already, wasn't it? Blue, maybe. We can change the design colour, so the actual kind of main chassis of it. We can go with a metal kind of look if you want to, or whatever you want. That's in touch you. Um, and then capacity, we can change from 8,000 to 15,000 litres. Now, what I like about this one, the 15,000 litre one, you've got this kind of cutaway section. So if you're unloading from harvesters and stuff like that, you can still get the old uh, auger pipe in, which I think is quite cool. Or for anything, I suppose you're tipping there. You might be using a, a bucket on a wheel load or something like that. So you can have, let's say, you can have it on. Oh, bale loading as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. Bale loading wagon, eight thousand liter, or fifteen thousand liter. Now, if you look at the legs underneath, though, on this one they're incredibly short. I'm not sure why, um, but for the fifteen thousand liter one with a couple of adjustments, that's ten thousand, which isn't horrendously expensive. Um, if we come back out now and we go to uh, the FMSZ2KT, which is going to be under Animals and Liquid, which is just here. Now, if you look across a couple, 
You got the FMS Z2K, which is the one that's already wheeled. That was by Patchesh Modding. It's the same design, but on these legs. If you look at this one, the legs are much, much taller, which means you can get underneath it already without any assistance. You just drive under the back of it, which is quite cool. We'll have a look at it in a moment. Again, main colour, we've got a couple of options, but the one I do like is this one on the end. Kind of like a metalled, galvanised steel kind of look to it, which I think is quite cool, but there's a grey, like the orangey colour. Now, as far as design goes, that's the colour of the chassis, but if you can only have green or black on this one. So that's the water one. That'll hold 5,700 litres. That is four slots and then lastly we've got under i think it's slurry tanks on this one slurry tanks if we go across we have got the hts 80 so this is a slurry back to it uh, this is five slots um, and this is an 8000 liter slurry or digestate tank same thing got quite high legs to it but that's an 8000 liter tank and we can change the main color of the kind of chassis and strapping and those kind of bits to whatever we want it to be and i quite like that that's pretty cool but like i say weirdly this one here has got very very short legs which means you need one of these now i haven't tested this little bit out yet so what i'm going to do is um just bear with me one second Let's get me help window open. Let's jump in. So, for detaching. Ah, oh, lower tipper. Uh, okay. That's weird. What did that do? Hmm, don't know. If I detach now. That kind of releases it from the back of the vehicle. You can see those legs have come out. Just here, these legs have come out. And then what you need to do is with a forklift truck, or something with forks, hasn't got to be a forklift truck, it can be anything you like, you can uh, remove the body using this. We'll get lined up properly. It doesn't like it too much, but like so. I'll put that down again. Mm, see, it's a little bit, it's a little bit unwieldy. It doesn't quite like that, but I'll take. Oh, so I'll take the forks out. So that's one. I'm puzzled. I don't know why. Those have got long legs, but this one hasn't. But anyway, if I get back in that, it should give me the option to attach. Do that, and it attaches straight on. Anyway, so that's it attached. Um, but if we just drive... I need to get into a bit of land that belongs to uh, to us, because you can't buy the garage here. As far as tips goes, and this is what I wanted to show you as well, because this is really cool. Love the sound of it. So, tip. Unload here. Look at that. That's cool. We'll change tip sides left or right. We'll do it again this side. That's a really cool mechanism. I, I like that. That's a brilliant bit of kit. Like I say, you can have it in bale trailer as well. Sounds cool. Now, um, means I've now got to take the back off that again to get to the other ones. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really a bit unsure why, why it doesn't have the longer legs. It's a bit odd. Really couldn't say. Look at that lower tipper and raised tipper. Don't know what that's about. Anyway, let's detach it. So it's kind of detached. Now you can't pull away with it on. I suppose you could try and drop it off the back. <laughs> it's 
probably not the way you're supposed to do it, I would imagine. I don't think that's going to go anywhere, is it? Oh, maybe. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's not how you're supposed to do it. With a forklift. Now, these two will actually just attach by driving under. Like so. The legs go. You've got yourself a 5,700 litre tanker. But the good thing is, because this one hasn't got the fifth wheel attachment, you can also attach to a trailer at the same time. So say so if you're trying to, you know, move things around on your yard, it's a little bit more versatile than a tractor, you know. A very 200 horsepower, I have to say, it's got a nice bit of grunt to it. It, it runs really well. Again, that will come down to, you know, the more you use it. Let's change it to that and detach. So that's the liquid one. And this one here is your slurry tank. Just remembered something I was going to show you about the liquid one. You might have already noticed actually when we store, but... So that there... Is your slurry tank. 8,000 litres of slurry for transporting to wherever you want to go. Now that's not a spreader, it's a transporter. I don't know if the pipe comes out first you need to fill the tool. It doesn't seem to give me an option to. Can we buy slurry from the market? Well, let's have a look down here. Let's have a look. Because it has got a little pipe down the side there, but I don't know if that's something that will actually animate or uh, or not. So let's move down to here. Now, the good thing is, unlike the hook lifts, you don't really get... These aren't going to move. Once they're attached, it's kind of... It's on there. I think this is brilliant. I think it's a really clever mod. and Really, really cool. AAA modding have done a brilliant job on this. I like the design of it. I like what it does. I like the attachments. I think it's really cool that you can still hook up to other trailers as well behind on this version. And that you also have got the option to have a semi one. This is an affordable truck to get you going. 60 grand as opposed to 135 and upwards, you know, it's half the price of the cheapest one, really. And very cool. So, before I finish off, I might just drive around a little bit in this because I'd really like it. Yes, I meant to say about the um, water one. Where is it? Under animals. Um, unlike that one there, the lizard one from Pat Yesh Modin, that is only water, this one here says it will do water, milk, liquid fertiliser and herbicide this will transport. So the FMSZ2KT from AAA Modding that goes on the back of um, the D754 truck will do all of those so you can transport milk with it and obviously you're probably going to want to clean it out between milk and herbicide and, you know, those kind of things. Um, but it will do all four. Which I think is really cool. Um, and... I mean, that's pretty much it. It will haul semi-trailers, it will do a uh, slurry tank, it will do a grain tank, uh, it will do the water, herbicide, liquid fertiliser, you know, it will do all of that, and it will pull a trailer on the back as well at the same time. 200 horsepower, 49 miles per hour. It's brilliant. Let me close that off. A very, very nice, tidy, useful mod. Brilliant bit of kit awesome um and that's it from me um i hope you found this useful and informative i'm sure i've probably missed something there'll be something i've missed there'll be a part of this mod that's hidden away somewhere in the mod hub or in the store or there'll be some uh particular function of it that i have missed like I say i'm still this is puzzling me i don't like to say why not have just longer legs on it that would make life i know it's got those bits underneath for hooking it up with a uh, with forks, but I don't know, don't know, I really don't know. Um, if you have found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. 
whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.